only volume of the system is kept constant then we call it as the isochoric process the process is carried out so rapidly that you cannot reverse that it has to happen only from one direction to the other the heat is transferred from the surrounding to the system this is very very important delta u we took it as ub minus ua which is nothing but equal to work done hello my dear students welcome back to second session on the chapter thermodynamics last class we studied about the thermodynamic terms and we also studied about the types of system state functions and state variables today we shall study about the types of thermodynamic processes the process is in which the system is changing from one state to another or i can also tell we can say that the thermodynamic process has occurred when the system changes from one state to another state that is from the initial state to the final state there is some changes in the uh, maybe pressure temperature or volume the different process there is some path or some process which is happening which is changing the state of the system first what it was it we call it as the initial state after the process where it has reached we call that state as the final state now the processes can be of different types that is the first one is the isothermal process thermal gives us a hint that it is temperature and when the temperature of the system remains constant during the process then we call it as the isothermal process okay what is it what are we keeping constant here we are keeping the temperature constant during the process then we call it as the isothermal process next is the adiabatic process no heat can flow through the system to the surrounding there is no exchange of heat in between the system and the surrounding then we call it as the adiabatic system or adiabatic process okay next is the isochoric process the process during which the volume of the system is kept constant what is kept constant here only volume of the system is kept constant then we call it as the isochoric process now when i am telling the volume is kept constant in the process okay from the initial state to the final state only volume is constant the other things other state of that system can change okay next is about isobaric process the process in which the pressure is kept constant okay we call it as the isobaric process so isothermal means temperature is kept constant isochoric means volume is kept constant isobaric means pressure is kept constant adiabatic process means there is no heat exchange between the system and the surrounding during the process okay next we have the reversible process now what is the meaning of reversible process reversible means what we can come the other way around isn't it the process which can be reversed at any instant of time by increasing the opposing force we call it as the reversible process at any point of time one process is going in one direction you can reverse it then it is reversible process irreversible process the process is carried out so rapidly that you cannot reverse that it has to happen only from one direction to the other then we call it as irreversible process you cannot reverse the process then we call it as irreversible process so these are the different types of thermodynamic process next we are going to study about change in the internal energy of the system now the internal energy of a system can be changed either by doing work or by exchange of heat 
So these are the two ways where the internal energy can change. So first we learn about the work. Okay. Work can be done by the system or on the system. What is the meaning of this? We'll understand here. Okay. Adiabatic process is in which there is no transfer of heat between the system and surrounding. So we are going to take an adiabatic system in which there is no exchange of heat. Okay. Now let us bring the change in the internal energy of the system by doing some work on it. So I am taking a system and I am doing some work on it. For example, how can I do the work? There are different ways. I can either do mechanical work or I can do electrical work. For example, I will take a system in which there is some water. Okay. So this is the system in which there is some water which is under study. Okay. And it is an adiabatic process which I have to take care. So there is no exchange of heat which is possible from the system to the surrounding. Okay. So this is an example what I am taking. So initial state of the system I will take. Let the temperature of the system be Ta initially. I have not done any work. I have just taken my system. Seen the temperature. It is Ta and the internal energy is Ua before I do any work on it. Okay. As I told you, I can do two types of work. Either I can do mechanical work or I can do electrical work. So the first way is I imagine or you have to imagine I am doing a mechanical work. I will add one paddle here. Okay. And that is rotating. That is mechanical work is being done on the system. Okay. So what is it? Mechanical work is done on the system. Okay. What I did? I added a paddle and it is continuously churning. So some work is getting done, being done on the system here. So once the work is done, the final state, the temperature has changed to Tb. Okay. So let the temperature in the final state be Tb and the internal energy be Ub. This is one way of doing work on the system. That is mechanical work. I can also do electrical work on the system. That is the same system I will take. Already I know the initial state. I have taken some water in my system. Okay. I know the temperature, initial temperature as well as the internal energy. Now I will add a rod in which electric current is passed. So I am doing electrical work on the system. Okay. So either of the way, I can either do mechanical work or I can do electrical work. But the final state of the system, temperature I will consider it to be Tb and the internal energy be Ub. Okay. Then it is found that in any way, either of the way, Tb was greater than Ta. That is the final temperature was greater than the initial temperature and the change in temperature I can write it as delta T is equal to Tb minus Ta. Now the change we always write it as delta. Okay. Delta T means the temperature of the final state minus the temperature of the initial state. That is the change in temperature and thus the change in internal, ener internal energy is delta U is equal to Ub minus Ua. That is the final initial internal energy minus the internal energy of the initial state. I hope you have understood this. So delta T and delta U we can find out after the work is done on the system because initial state we have recorded as well as the final state we have recorded the internal energy and the temperature. A given amount of work was done on the system, no matter how the work was done, irrespective of the path, produce the same change of the system, of the state. Okay. The measure by change in temperature of the system. So what happened? If we do mechanical work or electrical work, the change what happened okay irrespective of the path it was same that is delta t is equal to tb minus ta was the same irrespective of how the work was done okay the adiabatic work that is 
W A D. See if I write W A D, that is adiabatic work. The process which is taking place is adiabatic. That's why we write W A D. Adiabatic work required to bring about the change in the state is equal to the difference between the value of U and from the initial and the final state. So what we are telling is delta u is u2 minus u1 or I can tell delta u we took it as ub minus ua which is nothing but equal to work done that is on the system. Okay, we are doing work on the system. So that is equal to change in internal energy. Got it? So, work done on the system was equal to what? The change in internal energy. Okay? So, if the sign conventions you need to understand. Okay? The work done in adiabatic process and the sign convention. If the work done is by the system, the system is doing some work, then the sign for work done is negative. Okay? If the work is done on the system, like how we did, we did some work, we passed electric current or we have, you know, churned the water using a paddle. So, when we are doing work on the system, the sign is positive. When the work is done by the system, then the sign is negative for adiabatic work. Okay, this is only for adiabatic work. Next is about the heat. Now, change in heat also will or exchange in heat also will get a change in the internal energy. Correct? So, what exactly is this? The internal energy of the system can be changed by transfer of heat from the surrounding to the system or vice versa. So, how can the internal energy change? Now, if I have this is my surrounding and this is my system. Okay, so either heat can go from the system to the surrounding or it can come from surrounding to the system. Okay, internal energy change which can happen without the expenditure of work. We are not doing any work here at all. Only the heat is getting exchanged. So, this exchange of energy which is a result of temperature difference is called as heat. Now, during heat, how can you make out that the heat is getting exchanged? There is temperature change. Correct? No. So, the heat Q is directly proportional to change in temperature. So, I can write it as Q. That is the difference in heat Q is directly proportional to the change in temperature. That is delta T. Okay? Now, here... If I take water, okay, is taken in a temperature Ta in a container having thermally conducting walls. That is its isolated system, okay, which is enclosed in a huge heat reservoir at a temperature Tb, okay. The heat absorbed by the system is Tb minus Ta. So, you are taking water, okay, which is having a temperature Ta and keeping into a you know, a reservoir in which is of a higher temperature Tb. So, your system is absorbing some amount of heat, correct? So, the change in temperature Tb minus Ta is equal to Q. In this case, change in internal energy, whatever change in internal energy is there, it is directly equal to Q. When no work is done at constant volume, see here, the work is not done and what is kept constant? Volume also is kept constant. So, heat changes sign conventions, how you need to know. The heat is transferred from the surrounding to the system. From the surrounding to the system when it comes, it is positive. From the system to the surrounding, it is negative. So, when it heat is given from the system to the surrounding, it is negative. From the surrounding, it is absorbing. The system is absorbing, then it is positive. Okay. So, these are the sign conventions which you need to know as well. Now, if I talk generally, okay, that is... Uh, the internal energy is changed by doing work as well as heat. 
okay there is exchange of heat also which is happening and there is work also which is done on the system okay then what will be the internal energy the change in internal energy will be equal to q plus w this is in general case okay general case so i hope you have understood the change in the energy which can happen by work done on the system or by the system or heat is exchanged from the system to the surrounding or from the surrounding to the system. Next is about first law of thermodynamics, law of conservation of energy. It's also called as law of conservation of energy. This is very, very important. What does the first law tell? First law of thermodynamics tells us that the energy can neither be created nor it can be destroyed but it can be transformed from one form to another. Okay, what is it? Energy can neither be created nor it can be destroyed. It can be only converted from one form to the another. Okay, or I can tell energy of an isolated system is constant. Energy of an isolated system is constant also we can tell this law as. Now I want to write the mathematical form of this law. So first I shall consider a system with internal energy U1. Okay. This is my system. Okay. With internal energy. Now I'll change the internal energy by you know supplying some heat to the system. What is it? I'm supplying heat to the system or the system is absorbing heat from the surrounding. So what will happen? The change in internal energy will be U1 plus Q. Now to the same system I will do some work on the system also. So what will be the internal energy? It will be initial plus Q plus W. And this will be the final state U2 I will consider to be the final state of the system. So initial state internal energy was U1. The final state after I have done work on the system also I have you know supplied some heat to the system. The final state of the system internal energy is U2. So, I can also write it as U2 is equal to U1 plus Q plus W. Correct? Now, I will just rearrange this. U2 minus U1 is equal to Q plus W. Now, what is U2 minus U1? That is delta U which is equal to Q plus W. This is the mathematical form of the first law of thermodynamics. That is change in internal energy is equal to heat absorbed plus work done on the system. Okay. What is it? It is change in internal energy is equal to heat supplied to the system or heat absorbed by the system plus work done on the system. Okay. This is the mathematical form of first law of thermodynamics. So I hope you have understood this particular law. Next class we will understand about the applications of first law and also we learn about enthalpy. Okay. So thank you my dear children. Stay tuned. Stay focused.